In this video, we're going to learn how to rotate shapes. Uh, we've been studying motion, and we've made things go backward and forward and up and down, and now it's time to make them rotate. So um, a lot of steps are going to be the same, but there's going to be a few differences in this lesson. So first of all, let's start with this. Right now, we have a rectangle on the screen, and the goal here is to just make this thing rotate around. All right, we want it to turn around. Now, let me just show you something real quick. The way you would rotate something is very simple. It's like you can just use the word rotate, and then you say how many degrees you want to turn it. Now, once again, you there's different kinds of ways to measure angles. Um, some people use radians, some people use degrees. You probably are more familiar with degrees. So something you have to do is, in setup, you should always put angle mode and set it to degrees. All right, because it's by default in radians. If you don't know what radians are, that's fine. You'll learn about it in uh, Ms. Marinova's Algebra 2 class, but for now, Let's just call it degrees. So make sure you add this into your setup function. Angle mode, capital M, degrees. All right, now that we have that set up, just to show you kind of simply what would happen if I just put, let's say, um, a 60, well, let's say a, a 45 degree rotation. If I press play, you'll see that it moved over here. And what actually happened here is that it spun around 0, 0.00 because rotations always happen around the origin. For those who are taking geometry, this is something you might be familiar with. So what it did was it rotated around this point 45 degrees. So if I set that back to zero, you'd see that it went from here and actually rotated like this way down to here. But really, I don't want this thing to rotate around this point zero zero. What I was hoping for it to rotate around was like one of its corners. Like I want it to rotate around this point right here, right? That's its top left corner. So what we do is this. Here's what we should always be doing. We always do put these thing called push and pop around our rectangle. And what that means is that basically we are going to, whatever transformations we do doesn't affect anything else on the screen. So um, in our sketch, more to be said on that at another point. So I always surround my rectangle with push and pop. All right, we put that around everything. See, push, pop. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually translate our center to 200, 200. And so what that actually does is it moves the center of this to here, 200, 200, which is where our rectangle is. But now since this is 0, 0, and our rectangle is now 200, 200, we want to bring it back to 0, 0. You see how that goes back? I'm going to say that again. Because I translated the origin at 0, 0 to point 200, 200, right? So this is now 0, 0. If I want my rectangle to be here, I make that 0, 0. And this is a general rule that we're going to do. What you should always do is translate to the point you want to rotate around and then change your shape, whatever point that you want in your shape to rotate around, like the center of that rotation to be zero, zero. All right, the next part is to get this thing to start rotating. The way we're going to do that is as follows. First thing we're going to do is declare a variable, right? Because we want this thing to actually start moving. So we're going to say let A for angle. I'm going to initialize it. And this is all the things that you're familiar with. A equals zero. I'm going to use it. Okay. And the place I use it is right here in the rotation. Because I don't want to rotate. It's how many degrees I want to rotate. And then finally, I have to increment it to have it start moving. I'm going to say this. A equals A plus one. And check it out. Now we have ourselves a rotation. Now you know that you could speed that up. We can make that this, make it like this to get it really fast, and have that thing start go rotating around. Now from this point, you know, this is really the whole lesson. What you should be aware of is like you need a variable, right? And the variable goes in this rotate because it's like, you know, it's always rotating around 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. That's the angle of rotation. And the real thing that you should watch out for is, remember, you have to do push and pop, and you have to translate to the center of where you want to rotate around and then change that point in your shape to zero, zero. All right, those are all the steps that you need. Now that we've done the lesson, I kind of just want to show you some more interesting things that are kind of fun to do. Like for example, let's say we want to do a line. We can make a line rotate around. So I'm going to keep one point at zero, zero, and all I want to say at 100, 100. You see, now we got a line. Add some stroke to that, make it stroke weight. Make it a little bit bigger, so you can see that. Ooh, look at that. Um, we could do triangles by adding another point. So what I could do is 50-50. Uh, see, maybe I got that one wrong. Hold on. 
Ooh, I gotta stop this thing from rotating. Uh, zero, zero. Mm. Okay, so now we got this, and let's get this to rotate again. That is so cool. But I obviously did something wrong there. Oh, I put it stroke weight. That's why it was sick. Okay, let's put that back to 10, and let's put this at the rotation for A. And now we have a rotating triangle. So you can rotate all types of shapes. Remember, whichever point in the shape that you want to rotate around, that will be zero, zero. And have that, make sure you translate to your, wherever you want the center to be. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Some other fun things you could do. You could take out the background. And you get kind of cool things like this. You could do this. You could make it so your fill actually changes. So I'll do fill um, A. And a divided by, uh, uh, I'm just doing things now. I'm just having fun. You could have this turn around. You could also do that with a stroke. Take this and do the same thing. Maybe I'll do this as 100. And this is 255. Yeah, you could have all sorts of fun with this. So, so I kind of want to go back to the other one. Like that. Ooh, that looks nice. Anyway, you could have lots of fun uh, making all sorts of designs and variations on this. And now that we have uh, rotations, you know, the whole world opens up to what you can make. All right, that's it. Bye.